Hi, I'm Rowan. And I'm... Damien. And welcome back to the Radnor Report for the week of Friday the 13th. Yep, today is Friday the 13th, and you know what that means. Don't break any mirrors, don't spill any salt, or let a black cat cross your path. I'm allergic to black cats, so I, they usually don't. For many, the number 13 alone gives them the creeps. Not Taylor Swift, though. She said she loves the number 13. Well, the old Taylor Swift did, but she's dead now. But we digress. While we're on the topic of bad luck, eight out of the 10 nominees for the homecoming court must have pretty bad luck when they lose. Yeah. Luckily, Jack Hughes had the honor of sitting down with the 2017 homecoming nominees to let us get to know them better. Um, hi, I'm here today with Katie McShay, Macy Plotkin. Hey, my name is Adrian Vanhart. Hannah Jones. Alexa Di Giovanni. Um, are you excited for homecoming? Yeah. What's your best quality? My best quality. Hmm. I think I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm funny, because yeah. I in my head I think I'm funny, so. <laughs> Um, maybe my personality. How do I look? Oh my god, this is why I'm not gonna win. I'm so I'm so vain. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to play the cross with Miss McGuire. I dance a lot. Like that's my activity. Write college essays. <laughs> um, I eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Who in your grade do you have a crush on? Is this gonna be like Shen? Yes, it's and gonna like... be Shen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what song would you pay to never hear again? Happy by Pharrell Williams. The Friday song that Mr. Miller about, plays. Yeah. Call me maybe. Do you believe in life after love by Cher? What? That one can go. <laughs> Who is your favorite teacher at the school? Ms. McGuire. So if you were sleeping a night and a fruit attacked you, mm -hmm. what fruit would it be? Pineapple. Pineapple's like, it's good, but it's kind of sour and like you have like too much pineapple and then your tongue hurts, you know? So I feel like if one fruit were to attack me, it'd be pineapple. Definitely a watermelon. <laughs> you can continue. What's one plus two times three? Six. Nine, 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 it's nine. <laughs> try, try one more time. One plus three. One plus two. One plus two is three. Times three. Nine. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. Yes, you're the yes! only one to get it right. Let me do it again. Wait, cut, I'm gonna get the right no, answer. No, I'm putting this Ask in. I'm putting this Ask in. Ask it right now. No. One plus two times three. I'm not putting this in. Is seven. What is your best quality? My best quality is basketball. What artist is overrated? Overrated Taylor Swift. The new Taylor Swift. Cody Simpson. How much time do you spend on your hair in the morning? Way too much. Um, not that much. I normally just shower and then go to bed. Like maximum two minutes. Too much time. Where's my hairbrush? I had a hairbrush earlier. Yeah, see? For all of you watching at home, this was us about 15 minutes ago. Kendall or Kylie? Kendall, for sure. Okay. Just ask what me what my yours? favorite Brooke Shields movie is. What's your favorite Brooke Shields movie? If I would have to pick one, it would definitely be Endless Love from 1995. That is a great Brooke Shields movie. If you don't win, who do you want to win? I want Adriana to win. Are you excited for homecoming? Yes, I am. Do you think you're gonna win? I'm definitely I'm gonna win. I really hope you win, Adriana. Thank you. You can watch these interviews in their entirety on the Radnor TV YouTube channel. I love fall. Okay. You know, I've always wondered what the students at Radnor High School's favorite part of fall is. Yeah, I guess that's too bad though, we'll never know. Wait a minute! Lacey and Annabelle made a video doing exactly that! Let's watch, shall we? We shall! Hi, I'm Annabelle Dinda and we're walking the halls of Radnor High School to figure out what Radnor loves most about fall. Let's go. Okay, so we're here with... Luigi Giacomucci. Luigi Giacomucci, what is your favorite thing about fall? Color changing leaves. That's very poetic. And uh, the weather, it's never really hot. And it's never really cold. Pumpkin spice lattes, delicious or, or gross? I've only had two, but the two I've had are pretty good. So. Gross. Just like you. All right, guys, let's go. Hey, guys, I'm here with... Nico Rizavi. Oh, uh, Nico, we just wanted to know, like, what's your favorite thing about fall? Pumpkin spice latte. Do you uh do you like football? 
I love football. I play football. Uh, do you really? Do you start or do you stay on the bench? Bench mostly. Okay, so we're here with. Kena. What's your favorite thing about fall? Um, I like the crisp fall air. Do you play any sports? I play football. Is, do you like that? Uh, it's, it's all right. It's a good time, I guess. What is? Is it a position? Um, I play quarterback, but I'm bad, so I don't start. Do you, so you like you sit on the bench? Um, well, we're not allowed to sit on the bench, but if we were, yeah, I would probably sit on the bench. So when you sit on the bench, are you thinking like, wow, I love this crisp? <laughs> Wow, great video. Wait, Dylan, didn't you also make a video asking people about fall? Well, yeah, but like we don't we don't have to um, watch that one. Let, yeah, let's play it. No, we no really, it's fine. No, it's fine. Really. Don't don't play it. It's officially October. I'm Dylan Roche, and today I'm gonna ask people what is their favorite part of fall. What's your, excuse me. What's your favorite? Excuse me, what's excuse me, what's your favorite excuse me, what's your favorite what's your favorite part of October? Excuse me, what's your favorite oh. Dylan, get up. Excuse me, what's your what's your favorite part of the fall? Probably to see you fall just now. That was pretty fun. Ah! Excuse me, what's your favorite part of fall? Uh, the colors of the like trees. Anything else a little bit less stupid? What is your, why is, what is the, why, what is your favorite part of fall? Well, yeah, my favorite part, 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 part. Listen, follow me on the gram, 2 wavy dot j 2 a you know what I'm saying? Add me on the snap. The question was, what is your favorite part of fall? What are you doing? What do you, what do you mean? Are you okay? No one's taking me seriously. <laughs> what is your favorite part of fall? I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. Do you think Nick Cannon faked his death so more people listen to his music? Uh, who's Nick Cannon? Exactly. I really enjoy Blake Balloons. I'm sorry, are you listening to Logan Paul? No. What are you listening to? Um, let's check them out. Oh, you don't know what you're Young listening to? Young Thug. Young Thug? Is that a song by Logan Paul? No. no. Guys, he listens to Logan Paul. Rick Ross, right? <laughs> Who? Rick Ross, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. What about him? Uh, like, like Rick Ross. The whale is out. The goat is in. The goat as a. What does the goat represent? Greatest of all time. Do you not know that? Well, no, I know, but th that wasn't the question. Oh. Classic rock oh, artist yeah. Billy Joel died today. What do you think? Uh, that's unfortunate. Mr. Krupp accused me of stealing your segment. Is that true? Do you have a comment on that? No one can steal my segment. It's still my segment. Like you so. could try, but like it's just not really going to work. You're not really as funny as me, but you can try. Okay. Aiden, yes. why did you end our streak? We on never Snapchat. Did we have one? Yeah, we did, and then just one day you oh, decided no. not to send anything back. This is awkward. I'm sorry. Um, you intimidate me? Chuck the goat, he was the weakest and scrawniest goat in the, in the farm. And then see, he worked every day, and he got up the hill first, and he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time, I'm getting a text. How are you dealing with the death of American songwriter, Tom Jones? Yeet. Is that it? It's a little bit insensitive. Well, I, um, I'm very sad that he's dead, um, but it happens. What was your favorite song by him? Um, probably uh, Don't Mind at Night. Well, that was very interesting. I made mine first. You know, my favorite part of autumn has always been the pumpkin spice. How basic of you. Lucky for you, though, Shauna said he made a tutorial on pumpkin spice cookies. Let's watch.
Wow, looks absolutely delectable. Speaking of delectable, a group of handsome young men actually made a video of their own. Wow, sounds like it's gonna be a really good video. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but it sounds like it's gonna be the best video out of all the ones we've seen so far. Now presenting, If, if It Took, took place, place in 2017. In 2017. What? I thought it was gonna rain today. So that's what I get for trusting Fox News. Ow! Who did that? Hey, Georgie! <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you dressed like Queen Elizabeth? Some lady in the Victorian ages, man. You look like a Raggedy Ann doll. <laughs> Why are you trying to dress like Lil Uzi Vert? <laughs> Don't you want your boat? Uh, no. I'm not gonna reach my hand in there. You're probably gonna bite my arm off or something weird like that. No? I'm not gonna bite your arm off. That'd be stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come, come over, over come here. Over here. This, guy this guy is hilarious. Bro, I actually been looking for this guy all day. Oh, really? Yeah, bro, can I have your autograph? Sure. Bro, this is the guy who owns McDonald's. <laughs> <Why> the <laughs> McDonald's, bro? <laughs> who then is this guy? I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. <laughs> Pennywise, oh my god. <laughs> Not Pennywise enough to own a house. Oh, bro! <laughs> More like Penny Dumb. <laughs> Penny Dump! Um, mm. Oh, oh man. Oh. That's too much, bro. Ah, oh, that's too funny. Too, much. too mm. funny. This dude. What are you doing? Calling the cops? No, 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 no yeah, please don't do that. Give me one reason why I should even talk to you. Well, I have. Pocket Penny Toilet Paper Plus! Whoa! Pocket Penny Toilet Paper Plus! Well, that was really creative and fun to watch. For more videos like that, subscribe to Funny Funny Hot Dog on YouTube. Nice plug. Well, Radner, that about wraps it up for this week. And remember, always be yourself or you could possibly get arrested for identity theft. It's not unheard of.